Today's Canva quick tip, I'm going to talk about colours and particularly the fine adjustments you can now make in Canva. I'm Kim from Be Your Own Graphic Designer and a Canva champion. Let's go over to my Canva screen and we'll take a look. I'm starting with a presentation template because that's large and you'll be able to see it better. And I'm going to work on a colour palette. I found this presentation design earlier, but I only want to use the, the front one. I'm just going to click on this and add it to my screen. I'm going to change the spelling of colour because I'm English. I can't resist. And then the first thing I'm going to do is a very simple one of go to my brand hub, go to my colours, and I'm going to click shuffle. And that will add all my colours instantly to the template. I'm going to shuffle again and go to a different colour range, shuffle again. And I think I'm going to go with that one because I like to have the text in the main blue that I use. I'm now going to add my heading font for Be Your Own Graphic Designer, which is Agrandir Narrow Black. I'm just going to click on that and it'll change it. Okay, I probably want a little less blue on this and some of my other colours. I'm going to look at changing one of these colours here. I have six colours in my palette, so I want to actually use all of those. And I'm going to click on this colour and select, this is my background one, so let's have a, if I select this one, will it be too light? No, nope, that works. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose another one and click on. And while I could choose from here, because all my colours are up here now, I can actually choose from along here. And I'm going to choose the pink. And the reason I want to choose this one is because if I click on that, I get some fine adjustments. These bars and circles usually mean you can make further adjustments in Canva. So let's click on that. And you can see it opens it up. And I can move this to a different colour completely if I wanted. If I did that, it's keeping it within the same colour family, but it has changed it quite significantly. So that was what I wanted to show you. These little adjustments that you can now make, you choose your colour. The other thing you can do, I'll use this one again, is you can apply a gradient and you have different style options you can choose. This is going to make my colour stand out with a lot more emphasis. Let's just do the same with this one. Again, click on it, apply gradient, and we'll go with this one. And here you can actually adjust the gradient yourself. You can make this more or less intense. Now it's moving too far away from my original colour. So I'm going to go back to my solid colour. And I'm going to go back to my pink. And go to this one because it'll be more visible with a gradient. Again, click on that, go to gradient. It just makes it so easy to add more depth and intensity to your designs by choosing the gradients from your basic color palette. I hope that helps and you'll have fun adjusting your colors and also adding gradients. If you found this video useful, please subscribe below. And if you want to know when I next record a video, click on the little notify bell and you'll get an alert. I hope that helps and I'll see you next week.